welcome back to the channel. Coming up in this episode, highlights from around the verse with Chris Roberts and Eric Kieran Davis, featuring highlights from the Frankfurt studio update with Brian Chambers, and a new concept ship is now on sale. The Jean Apola Knox. Also, we learn how to create a solar system in Star Citizen. But first, let's start off with the highlights from the Frankfurt Foundry 42 studio update with Brian Chambers. First of all, Brian told us that there are up to 76 members of staff in Frankfurt, and some of them recently took part in a 5K run. Now, Brian told us that the level design team have finished the bulk of their work on the surface outposts, and that they're now in the hands of the environment team. We learnt that there will be garages and hangars at the Levski landing zone where of course you can spawn uh, vehicles to explore the surface of the moon. Now as the surface outposts are complete the team have moved on to the Area 18 locations, uh, Lawville, Oriton and New Babbage. Now we got a look at the tool they use to place uh, objects uh, on the surfaces of uh, planets and moons called Planet and uh, they've actually uh, improved uh, this tool so uh, it's uh, much better at doing its job. Now we had a look at some of the work the AI team are doing and uh, this piece is actually on how the AI reacts to uh, all the things it faces in the environment. Um, obviously uh, anything the AI needs to react to has to be actually implemented in the correct animations so this is a, a, a sped up version and uh, so they can actually verify that the AI is doing the correct reaction now they're also working on a uh, combat AI behavior making sure that they don't uh, shoot any friendlies also they've been working on buddy AI systems Frankfurt VFX team are working on uh, all the environmental details what happens on the planets as we can see we can see some nice uh, trail coming out of this vehicle also they're working on things like footsteps and anything which can occur when uh, you interact with the surface of a planet So saw some more on the lighting of the surface outposts and they're actually uh, more or less uh, finished bringing them up to the desired level of fidelity. Now we got a look at some uh, props they use for the outposts which uh, contain uh, various different types of lighting so they've got a, a library of props to use. Now we saw some work by the tech art team on something called uh, mannequin uh, cinematic fragments and here we had a look at uh, something called the Kesar Custodian Energy Weapon. I think these names are getting even longer. And we had a look at the animators using their play blast tool which helps them with setting up the animations. And also we had a look at some ongoing development on weapon dynamics and secondary motion and Brian says this work is looking very promising. Now Brian told us that the environment art team are continuing to work and uh, improve the visual fidelity of the surface of the moons and planets. Now they've also been working on landing pads for the surface outposts. You'll want to land your ship on a level landing pad and not a big rock. Now Brian told us that they're continuing to add extra polish to the surface of Delamar, adding uh, some more uh, fidelity to uh, the visual effects on the planet's surface. 
Also, the Levski Landing Zone uh, will have additional places to explore outside. Now, we also got a look at the uh, entrance to the Levski Landing Zone, the uh, security checkpoint where all players will have to pass through before they can get inside. So they're uh, putting some added detail uh, to this area. Now Brian told us the work on the garages are finished and from here you'll be able to request a vehicle to explore the planet's surface. Working on cover animations for the weapons and here's a quick look at the railgun. Now obviously something to watch for the future, Brian told us they're working on some holographic uh, projection technology. So um, that looks uh, very interesting. Now Brian told us that QA are working on a number of things at the moment including checking the uh, changes to the build system and the SIG data patcher. They've also been working uh, on checking the subsumption editor and also in collaboration with Tony Zurovic and Francesco Ricucci checking that changes to different versions of the subsumption editor doesn't, uh, well, break things in the game. Now, Brian showed us that the weapons team have been working on some new uh, attachments to work with the new uh, uh, RAL uh, attachment system. We also got a look at the Klaus and Werner Demico laser light machine gun. Well, as always, that was another interesting report from Frankfurt. And uh, I especially enjoyed seeing those visual FX effects on the surface of those uh, moons, especially those uh, footprints in the surface. Really high fidelity. Well, on sale now is the new concept ship, the Jean a polar Knox. Now this is another, well, what you could call a space motorcycle. And uh, it's obviously a small ship which will fit in, well, a lot of ships of various sizes. So it's sure to be very popular. And it's going to be a bit different from most concept ships in that it's virtually ready to fly and it should be in 3.0 hopefully sometime later in the summer it is available to buy now on the rsi site and it's available to buy for 40 dollars if you go use store credit or trade in a ship or 35 dollars for the war bond cash only version but as always if you don't want to buy the ship you can always aim to earn these ships in game when the game eventually comes out now the ship is also available in two versions the uh, dark side black version and also a special edition silver version now obviously the ship is designed to be more of a racing ship than the drake dragonfly and uh, you can tell that by the way you will sit in the cockpit in that stream -like racing uh, style uh, seating position now it does come with a fixed mount size one weapon underneath the bottom of the ship and uh, so you will have uh, some uh, offensive firepower but primarily it's a ship designed for racing and speeding around the surface of a planet or obviously speeding around short range distances in space so if you're into a uh, Jean Knox and uh, you want a space motorcycle well this is the perfect ship to get your space levers on also in the roundiverse we learn how they're going to build the solar systems in Star Citizen now some of these solar systems are going to be vast and uh, obviously real solar systems are even a lot larger but what they've got to do is condense the size of these systems down to make them well more playable otherwise if you made them too big you'd be falling asleep on your ship now they also showed us the Solad uh, editor which they use to edit the uh, solar systems for Star Citizen with and uh, they also showed us how 
before they had to use the old system which was built in CryEngine. How time consuming and laborious using that system was. But with the new Solad editor, well, hopefully they'll be able to churn out these solar systems a lot quicker. And of course, with a hundred solar systems and more in the final game, there's a lot of solar systems to make. Now they have consulted experts in the field of astronomy to actually get the star citizen solar systems as close as possible to what they know of what's in the real galaxy at the moment. Although as NASA are making new discoveries all the time, what we know about the galaxy and universe out there is forever changing. Well thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to like, and it will help the channel a lot if you'd like to subscribe. So until next time, wherever you're watching, out in that big universe, you take care. And hopefully, I'll see you all sometime soon. Bye for now.